Congenital Adrenal Hyperplasia An Introduction by Arush Mehrotra Details about my project I'm doing this project to raise awareness about genetic disorders, especially CAH. I will be creating videos over the next few weeks describing genetic disorders and CAH. All of the videos will be available in a playlist that will be updated as more videos are uploaded. It is the most ambitious project I have ever created for my channel. Details about this video. This video will be an overview of genetic disorders and present key terms that will come up in my upcoming videos. It is also a pilot video of sorts to understand how such a video will do on my channel and whether my project's impact will be as big as I hope. Let's begin by exploring some key terms. DNA is short for deoxyribonucleic acid. This contains the instructions for making proteins inside a cell. RNA is short for ribonucleic acid. RNA carries the instructions DNA contains for the creation of proteins to other parts of the cell. Proteins are key organic compounds required for life. They carry out a wide range of functions, including the creation of enzymes. A gene is a sequence of multiple DNA or RNA molecules. It is part of a chromosome. Let's continue exploring some more keywords. A chromosome. Multiple genes make up a chromosome. The number of chromosomes an organism has will vary. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, while bacteria only have one. The full set of chromosomes an organism has is known as a genome. Mapping the genome allows researchers to understand the function of every chromosome and gene and has led to advances such as genetic engineering, genetic modification, gene therapy, and more. Enzymes are substances produced in living beings that speed up biochemical reactions. They play an important role in many life processes such as digestion. Hormones are chemical messengers produced in your body. These regulate life functions. They stimulate different cells and tissues to take particular action in your body. Now let's look at genetic disorders. Genetic disorders are characterized by problems an affected person faces as a result of mutations or irregularities in their genome. They may be caused or inherited as a result of a mutation in a person's gene. Most genetic disorders have treatments, although there is no cure for any type of genetic disorder. Genetic disorders are not always passed on to children. Often, they will only be carriers without any negative effects. Now, let's look at CAH. This is a genetic disorder that affects the adrenal glands. Although it's life-threatening, it can be treated and the patient can live a normal, healthy life. Now, let's break the name down to better understand what CAH is and what it means for affected people. The C in CAH refers to congenital. This means it affects the genes and it's something that you are born with. The A in CAH stands for adrenal. This means it's related to the adrenaline glands. And finally, the H stands for hyperplasia. This refers to an increase in size. In conclusion, CAH is a genetic disorder that causes the adrenaline glands to increase in size. Now that we know what CAH is, let's look at its symptoms. A genetic mutation prevents the body from synthesizing key enzymes required for the production of three hormones in the adrenaline gland, aldosterone, cortisol, and testosterone. There are multiple enzymes required in this process. Let's take a look at the steroid pathway that decides this. The type of CAH is named after the enzyme that's missing. 21-hydroxylase CAH makes up 90% of cases in the US. 11-beta-hydroxylase makes up 5% of cases in the US. 3-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase 
CAH makes up 3% of cases in the US, rarer types of CAH make up the remaining percentage.